Hello my SOC universe and welcome to the final video to the Premier League and Eredivisie season. Yeah, here we are completely done with everything. And uh, boy, it was a pretty uh, exciting last round, uh, match day round, especially when it comes to the final Champions League spot. That was probably, when I look at the changes in the uh, standings, probably the most exciting, um, not the... Not the one where I'm most, most tense, that goes to the Italian one, but that was the most exciting one because there were a lot of changes happening, uh, more so than a German relegation and uh, either the title races in Spain and France, I think uh, they went sooner in the direction where you thought it might go. Um, Liverpool made it. <laughs> I'm wearing Liverpool. I decided to put the white Liverpool up there just to have a little bit more uh, variety uh, in colors up there, so there's a whole lot of white there. So Liverpool made it and boy, 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 Chelsea made it, but that was limping over the line with the help of Spurs. And for me, this is, uh, <laughs> you know, Spurs needed to that, that, that win. But if it wasn't for Spurs helping out Chelsea to make it top four, very, very interesting uh, uh, stuff indeed. Leicester looked for a long time to be going into the Champions League, which I think many would have said is the fair, is would be all right. Um, however, you know, injuries and so on cut themselves short and um, they are now the Europa League, where also West Ham confirmed themselves. And in the Europa Conference League, we have Spurs and not Arsenal, who actually had a real shot. And we ended up with a goal scoring record for Sergio Aguero in his last game, last Premier League game. Well, Manchester City still could play in the Champions League final. And in the Eredivisie, we have a newly probated team in Nyming, and Feyenoord makes it also into the Conference League. So uh, there's all everything decided. Let's uh, go into it. I will go largely uh, as the list, but I will kind of pick it, uh, present it in such a way that um, also the table and what's at stake is in mind. So I want to start with Arsenal Brighton, where Pepe scores two for Arsenal, who should have scored maybe a whole lot more goals, but that win put them in contention for a Europa League spot. Um, next one I want to talk about is Liverpool against Crystal Palace. Where actually in the early stages, I think Crystal Palace was not so much out of, out of the game. They had chances, they were dangerous, but then um, Sadio Mane slides in, I want to say, the first goal and from that moment on Liverpool was in full control and Sadio Mane, a uh, deflected shot, scores the second, the second of Firmino and Salah assisting the two goals. Um, probably could also have been more. Uh, Jurgen Klopp was super excited afterwards because Liverpool turns out they finished third, which after that season you didn't see coming at all. So Liverpool make it into the Champions League, which is probably a good thing for England because uh, a very, very good team is joining there. And then uh, the next one before we go into the head-to-head -head between Leicester and Chelsea, uh, West Ham Southampton also for, uh, for Pablo Van Ars scoring uh, two and then Declan Rice adding a third West Ham. I think with uh, their best ever season that is equalized or something like that in any in any in, in, in any case uh, an amazing season where at times it looked like they could make it even into the champions league but europa league is also already a pretty big win i, I would have said for the seven teams that's uh qualified west ham would have kind of played the union berlin role where you know everybody's happy that they're in europe and maybe the conference league is just right for them but west ham even did it one more and i think it's pretty cool that they finish in the Europa League and I'm uh, curious how they will perform there as well and whether this will have any impact on their season next year because you know more games you're not really used used to it although England a little bit with two cup com competitions you could make an argument there and now Aston Villa Chelsea Leicester Spurs it was so easy uh, if Chelsea matches what Leicester are doing Chelsea are through there was a point where it could even be that Leicester is enough with a draw if Chelsea loses by three goals. So that could also come in play. But basically Chelsea needed to only match what Leicester was doing. Um, and this is what turned, turned, turned out to be. Um, 
And things were going for Leicester's way for a very long time because already in the 18th minute, Vardy uh, converts a penalty where I think all the world uh, uh, brought down the attacker. I don't know now who it was, uh, but you know, he left his foot out. I think it was a pretty clear penalty, although at first I, saw, I thought, yeah, uh, this doesn't look like much, but when, when, when I think that he's really going with the leg out, it's a penalty. Vardy, who has not been scoring a whole lot, converts. And at that point, uh, Leicester with New Jersey's, of course, at that point I really thought that Leicester is going to play this home because I didn't trust Spurs. However, Harry Kane direct kicks one in uh, to get, uh, I think he now won the golden boot as well in his potentially last game for Spurs as uh, nonetheless. And so a game where Leicester, I think, was largely a better team, Spurs could uh, get the draw. And Right when the draw happened, good news for Leicester because Traore with a really great shot made it 1 0 for Chelsea. Ah, for Chelsea, for Aston Villa against Chelsea. Uh, a game, and especially when you look at the stats afterwards, a game where I think Aston Villa had only 6 uh, to 23 shots for Chelsea, a game that Chelsea just again could not convert their chances, and so they found themselves 1 0 down. And then, pretty much at the same, almost the same time, two panels are given one for Leicester one for uh, Aston Villa, um, you know, again, the Leicester penalty, all right, I mean, but both are given and Vardy and El Ghazi score the goals. And now it is 2-0 Aston Villa, meaning one more for Aston Villa and Leicester could actually live with, with, with a draw. But anyway, Leicester in, in the lead, meaning Leicester is back into the Champions League again. Um, however, Chelsea came back. They, uh, Timo Werner, of course, had a goal. They said that for offside. Uh, but it really seems, seems like uh, Leicester is cruising and Chelsea has a really hard time uh, finding a way back. Chilwell then pulls one uh, back, but was cleared just behind the line. Uh, was also a weird celebration because shall we, shall, 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 shall we not? And uh, another, and that could be important, especially for the Champions League final, didn't play a big role yesterday. Uh, Edward Mendy, uh, Mendy needed to come off and Kepa came on uh, and played the whole second half. So I'm curious who will play in the Champions League final. And then it all turned Chelsea's way again. Because a uh, corner kick from Son, Kasper Schmeichel wants to fist it out and it hits him here and it goes into the back of the net. Why he's then playing everyone around him, I don't quite understand. But... In it goes and suddenly uh, it is Chelsea, despite uh, them, 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 them losing with the draw, they are in the Champions League. And honestly, Chelsea didn't get much. They tried, but they couldn't get another goal. And what's more, Spurs now knew if we win, we're in Europe, whereas uh, Arsenal will not be. Arsenal fans probably already preparing for St. Tottering's Hems Day. Not happening. Gareth Bale took over. Yes. Gary Gareth Pale to, to go, although I have, have to say, I mean, the way Kane assisted, he got the ball in the box, Calme goes down, he could have taken the shot, no, he takes it out and waits until a better position, Bale is free and can make it 3-2, uh, however, I have to, have to say, that, well, to me, it was a clear handball, he clearly touches it, I don't know why this wasn't called back, and then um, Harry Winks gets a, and the ad was actually before, when it was 2-2, getting my things uh, messed up. Um, there was a corner for uh, Spurs and uh, Leicester was about to launch an attack. Ionaccio had two men free, but still his own half and Winks takes, takes him down. It was, I think, a dark yellow, but it's the yellow was all right, um, because there was still too, too many parameters. The game was too young, uh, but it was an important tactical foul. Then allowed Bale to make it 3-2 and then uh, in, in, st in stoppage time. Again, Kane actually not have, having it, but the way Kane pulls Soyunchi away, that Bale can run straight through and then hits by a post and then uh, gets, gets in, was actually quite uh, interesting and impressive to see. And so, Leicester, yes, they brought up the FA Cup afterwards. However, it is not enough. They only finish in fifth. And I think Leicester has it in them. However, injuries really played a big role again. And again, they fall uh, short of top four and again i have to say i think it was a very successful season for leicester you got a trophy you were hanging in there with the top teams um if you can stay healthy i think leicester is definitely a team that could finish top top so far i'm looking forward to them next season i also want to see how aston villa will perform if they can keep their lofty position as i said chelsea limp themselves into the champions league they don't need to win the final now uh, to get there 
And I find it very ironic that it's exactly Spurs, but Spurs has something to play for that helped Chelsea to get in there. And there we go. I spoke about Harry Kane, potentially Harry Kane's new team, Manchester City had a big victory parade with a 5-0 over Everton, even a penalty was saved by Ederson, De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus and Phil Foden score the first three, then Sergio, Sergio Aguero come, comes on, standing on 182 goals for a single team, one behind Wayne Rooney, one 83, and of course Sergio Aguero gets the two goals, big celebration, it was wonderful. Uh, send off Guardiola, of course, and crying afterwards. Trophy being lifted. I find I, I find the trophy presentation of the Premier League a little bit uh, too much when you call up every single player. I actually like my trophy. It should not take a forever to prepare everything. That's the first thing, and the second, the second, the second thing. Just get the trophy up there, roll everyone out of the door, let them celebrate. Don't draw it out so long. But yeah, Manchester City deserve it, champions of the Premier League. If we look here at the final table, I think we said already ev everything in this. We say Liverpool finishing in third place. That was almost never in the cards, but only 69 points. Uh, Chelsea behind and Leicester just a point short of that. West Ham sensationally in sixth place and Arsenal with a late surge, but Spurs get late the wins to uh, put Arsenal in eight on the bottom everything was cleared Newcastle who was relegation threatened for the most of the time finishing a very credible 12th position with a huge jump on the last day of the season uh, if you look back in the history books this might look like oh this must have been a good season this was a season where they were, all, were really relegation threatened most of the time in the Netherlands um, we had the relegation semi-finals which I didn't see much but I think the biggest surprise was that Emmen uh, not only needed a late equalize and regu regulation, but then lost in the penalty shoot. And I thought that Emmen should win this playoff relatively easy. Nope. They went out in the first round. And so it was uh, NEC from Nijmegen against NAC from Breda uh, in the final. Before that, Feyenoord played against Utrecht. Uh, Feyenoord winning that one. Sinistera with a wonderful goal, giving them a lead. Then uh, were one or two pretty good goal saves by the goalie. Uh, and then Linsen, who just got in um, in the 83rd, scored in the 80, 89th after Berghoy's assist. Just fraction, not offside. Make it to nil. Dick Advocat's last game as a coach, at least for Feyenoord, but probably he will retire. And he sends Feyenoord into the Europa Conference League. And then in the final, of who will go up into the Eredivisie? It will be Nijmegen uh, with an 89th minute winner. Uh, goals before in 26th, uh, they took the lead and Breda could equalize through Van Hoydonk, but not Pierre Van Hoydonk. I don't know if there's any relationship there. Uh, Okita getting the winner for Nijmegen. Well, that was it from me for uh, Northwestern Europe, as I like to call it. Um, the leagues that I'm looking look, look into there. Let me know what you thought about uh, the weekend, especially the, pre the Premier League. I think it was a really exciting last match day. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a more exciting match day than most of the season was, I have to say. I think the season lost a little bit of steam when uh, City was rolling. Uh, but yeah, I think it was not a bad season. But that's for a review of every video of the season and let's see where we get it. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye!